user's guide. Upon receiving your package from us, you should have seven separate parts. Step one, assembling the tripod. Because it packs flat, you need to do some assembly. It's quite easy, the bolts are all there. You can do it all by hand. Don't forget to put your fire ring on top of your tripod. It can only go in one way and there's a little slot there for it. Step two, putting the handle on the canister. Again, the bolts and nuts are there. All you have to do is tighten them up, perhaps with a shifter. Make sure that your air intake nozzle fits into the bottom of your canister and that the airflow restrictor fits into that. As you can see, we don't use much wood at all, but all the wood must be very dry or you'll find it hard to start. Jeff Moxham, the granddaddy of Australian biochar, says, with dry wood, there is no dioxins present once it combusts. So the dry wood is a must. So the heavier wood goes to the bottom, then the kindling goes to the top. This being a top lip updraft gasifier means we light the fire from the top. The reason we light the fire from the top is as the wood heats up, it releases the gases. Gases being lighter than air will want to go up. If the flames are up the top because it's top lit, then all the gases will get ignited by the flames and no pollution will occur. Now we recommend if you're going to use your tea lud on a plastic table, you might want to put a tile or a brick underneath it because it does get hot underneath. Now when we light the top of the fire, we need to make sure that the air is unrestricted and we need to let the fire go for a little while, one to two minutes, enough to catch the bigger wood underneath. There's three main things in fire that you need. Oxygen, fuel, and heat or warmth. So the reason we leave it so long to start the fire in the beginning is we're building up heat in the internal container to make a clean, long-lasting fire. You can be your own char master and experiment in many ways. Some other fuels burn really hot like macadamia shells. Once the fire is on, you put your concentrator ring on, then you put the tripod on, then you let down the riser. The riser acts as a chimney and will draw air through the bottom. You can then control the flames with the air inlet restrictor. What we're doing here is we're showing how long it takes to boil uh, three cups of water in the open. Now in hindsight we realise we should have put a lid on the um, pan but this really demonstrates two things that it has the power to boil water out in the open and how little wood it takes to boil that water. Now going back to other fuel stocks like macadamia nuts and, and more hard carbon things like walnut shells, they will last a lot longer. Wood pellets will last a lot longer. But the whole idea of this stove is you can go anywhere in the outdoors 
find some dry wood and cook. There's the boiling water in 11 minutes or so. Now you can push the air restrictor right in to stop the flames. Now the good thing about this one is not only does it cook your food from scraps that you can find outdoors, but at the end it provides you with biochar. In this example, we've run it for 11 and a half minutes and you can still see there's well over half the wood left to burn.